We had a 1905 New Ithaca double come into the shop for a full restoration. After doing a complete photo survey of the gun, we began to dismantle it down to its smallest parts. When you do a restoration on a firearm, it's usually critical to determine early on, do you start on the metal or do you start with the wood? In this case, we needed to start with the wood because it was broken and damaged in so many places. Before we could polish the metal, we needed to understand where we would end up with the wood. There was one significant break in one of the ears where it butts up against the back of the receiver. We decided to tackle that break first. After stripping the old finish from the stock, we learned that the broken ear had been repaired sometime in its past with a little glue and a small brad. We knew we could repair this, but because this little piece of wood would butt up against the receiver, rather than just relying on the epoxy, which most likely would have been adequate for how the gun will be used in the future, we decided we would add dowels to help hold the repair in position and give that little extra resistance to recoil should some adventurous future owner decide to shoot the gun. This is a Damascus barrel double, so only someone with huge experience and understanding should ever attempt to shoot these beautiful old collectibles. Before making the repair, it was critical to remove any oils, dirt, or old finishes that may have gotten into the crack. We needed to get down to the base wood before gluing it up. We used acetone, Q-tips, and dry paper towel to wick away the oils as the acetone did its job. This took several applications before the wood was clean and no more residue was showing up on the paper towel. Because the width of the brake was so tiny, I had to make dowels to fit those small dimensions. Using my 1940s era Atlas machine lathe, I turned a large brass rod down to a dimension that seemed reasonable for both fit and strength. With the bridge port and after clamping and leveling the buttstock in the mill vise, we used a typical two-drill process to size and drill the hole that the brass rods would fit into. The broken ear was so small and odd shaped that we decided to use a dremel and a ball mill to hollow out the location for the dowels on it. This was tedious work, but in the end, the fit was amazing. We then applied another session of acetone and paper towel to be sure no additional oils had wicked back to the glue surface and with that done, mixed up and colored some epoxy to match the base wood. We waited 24 hours for the epoxy to harden, removed the duct tape that I had used to clamp the two pieces together, and the results were outstanding. To see each of these steps in full and to watch the ongoing restoration, head on over to the channel to watch. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I'll see you there.